Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia Moor and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this flame uh, fire. Let me close this project. So you will need to download uh, from the Telegram channel this asset is called, called Fire Flame Assets. The link to this channel is going to be in the description to this video. And also, before we begin, I want to show you that I have a Gumroad page where I sell 3D eyelashes, makeup, big eyes, uh, eye lenses, um, like and many many glitter, eyebrows, and many other projects. So if you're curious, the link is going to be in the description as well. So let's click a uh, new project, blank project. And those assets that you uh, gonna download from this RPR channel, I'm gonna drag them to the assets panel. So this fire uh, flames was created by me, but I used information from uh, one another uh, creator and also I use patches and this material from the Josh Beckwith. Link to those two creators I'm gonna give in description as well. So let's make this noise also a lot created by me and this mask has no compression and let's go into the uh, lot and clicking filtering none and next step is to add object and we are searching for the rectangle and this rectangle i'm gonna call it bg which stands for background And I'm gonna make fill width and fill height. Then I'm gonna duplicate it two times. And this is gonna be a person. And this one is gonna be fire. So now I'm going again to background. I'm clicking plus for the material. This material is gonna be background. And I'm gonna uh, shader type, shader type keep, keep flat. And for advanced render option, I'm gonna use this, this uh, check this to uh, this one, so it's uh, unchecked. And now I am going uh, to duplicate this material also. And when I'm du duplicating it, those settings that I just did are gonna be duplicated uh, as well. So this is gonna be person. And this one is going to be fire. So for the person, I'm going to also go to alpha. And I will need to go to camera, segmentation, and person segmentation. Come back again to person, alpha. And I'm clicking person segmentation. And as we see, person is not used by any any rectangle, so I'm going to go to person rectangle, click plus material, and picking this person. The same, now I'm going to the fire. And I, for the fire, I'm going to keep everything the same, just I'm going to change the add mo mode uh, to uh, blend. I mean to add, sorry, to add. Uh, and also I'm going to go to fire, and picking material is fire. And now I'm going to make actually fire invisible for, for one moment. So now uh, I'm clicking add object one more time and I'm searching for the face mesh. And this face mesh is going to be retouch. And plus I'm adding a create material and this is going to be retouch. And it's going to be retouching. Add, face mesh, face slot, and also clicking material, create new material. This is face slot, and also it's going to be flat. So basically, every these materials are flat, and all of them are I clicking use depth test, and I'm I'm checking it. And also all of them using blending mode alpha, except the fire. 
fire using head and also retouching it looks a little bit different but all others have kind of similar settings okay so we are done with creating all uh, what we need let's go to the patch editor and now i'm dragging this fast color lot created by josh backlit and let me copy three times and now i'm dragging this lot to our uh, uh, created by me to this uh, patch editor i'm going to connect this lot to each fast color lot And now I'm going to the face tracker and I'm clicking uh, texture extraction and I'm going to camera and I'm also clicking texture extraction. And now I'm dragging this face, uh, face tracker extraction here and camera extraction here. So face tracker, I'm going to connect to this one texture and this uh, two items, I'm going to connect uh, this two lots, I'm going to connect to camera texture. Okay, so, so uh, I'm going to the face lot and then I'm clicking here for the texture. And connect them together. And now we have our, our face. And uh, also I'm going to the person and also clicking texture. And now we have our person. And the last thing I'm going to background. For the, in the material section and also clicking and now we're having our background now we need to fix our mouth and and uh, lips so i'm going to the face tracker texture and making checking this on and also we need to fix our neck this this uh, line so i'm going to the face slot in materials and then i'm clicking on alpha in choosing this face mesh mask okay so we're done with this part let's uh, drag this fire flames let's drag also noise created by Josh Beckwith and we also need person segmentation so let's drag this so we will connect noise using RGB8 channel which stands for the uh, red green uh, blue and alpha and from the camera we we are just gonna use rgb part which is gonna be like colors and for the person segmentation we're gonna use alpha this is important so from the second to camera detection from the third to person segmentation and now we are using our make it visible it's gonna be weird now but but i'm gonna show you so now I'm clicking uh, on fire, I'm making it visible, I'm clicking on texture. Let me show you. Looks weird, right? The reason why, because fire is the last one, we need to drag it in the middle. So now it looks like this. And now I'm going to fire and I can change the color of it. But that's not everything. Let me cancel it. So, and make it bigger. So, uh, let me disconnect this fire. Okay, so I'm clicking adjust color. And I'm going to add multiply. Actually, it's just separate, so I'm going to add multiply. And then I'm going to switch it to color. And first color is going to be red. Okay. And now I'm connect connecting it to the uh, second volume. And then I'm connecting this multiply to texture. And texture I'm connecting to the fuse texture. And now we have this red. And the last thing I'm going to search for the slider. And I make it visible and I make start value 0 0.25 and then I connect it to this hue. So basically this will let the user to control 
the color of these uh, um, uh, flames. So if you want to do that, you can do that. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like it. And also, if you're planning to use my assets, please also like this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.